Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing great. In this video, I'm going to give a little clarity about CDS and AMDP. I have received a few requests to give some clarification about this. So I thought, okay, let's have a small video on this. So the question is, we have CDS view, we have AMDP, we have a table function. So we are able to achieve everything in the table function or procedures. So we have a class and methods, AMDP class and methods. So then why we need to go with the CDS views? So to give an answer for this question, I just made a small uh, presentation to understand about CDS and AMDP methodology. Let's understand better about these two. Then we can decide in which scenario we have to use CDS and we have to use AMDP. Okay. So the clarity is between CDS and AMDP. Okay. Let's get into the slide. So uh, the scenario is like this. Um, so the question is like why we need CDS as AMDP classes can use in ABAB reports. Okay. So a little confusion whether I have to create a CDS view for my requirement or AMDP procedure is more than enough. Then class and method is enough or I have to create a CDS view. Okay. So the scenario is I have a HANA database. I have a two application which need the data from the database one is a bab report another one is ui application so it, it can be anything like a report or a function module or again a class and method whatever it is it needs a data from a hana database okay so to answer this question we have to follow a few other slides then final slide is going to be the same one with the solution so how you're going to approach this option so first serious view so serious view is nothing but it's just a view uh, it's, it's basically is going to connect the tables and it connect the tables along with some other view if it is required so these are tables these are views if it is required we can connect uh, different um, data sources i can say a table is a permanent view is a temporary uh, holding the data so it connects uh, more than one table or a view finally it gets the data so that is the very uh, one line idea about CDS view. So it's just a view, it connects uh, different uh, uh, data sources and get the finally get the data based on the business requirement. This is nothing but a CDS view. The next one is uh, AMDP. So here AMDP is it's a methodology about managed database procedures. Okay, so um, maybe we are not able to achieve much in serious views so that is the reason we have a concept called amdp so it's very specific to ABAP. so it, it's like ABAP managed database procedures we are introducing some ABAP layers in the uh, sql level so uh, if you see cds we, we are able to connect multiple tables or multiple views okay but i want to write a code based on the existing so I have a data, uh, it, it has my maybe 100 records. Based on the 100 records, my second statement should work. Then my third statement should work. So data manipulation is happening based on the previous selection. So that is not have possible in CDS view. That, that's what we have a concept called AMDP. So in AMDP, we have uh, two options, table function and procedures. Maybe I have explained this in my AMDP introduction uh, slides. It's the same one. The same kind of uh, layer, ABAB layer, I want to introduce to achieve my business requirement for my CDS view. Okay, so for that case, we are going to use table function. So the, so the explanation is when we want to go with table function, when we want to go with procedures. Okay. So I have a business requirement that can be achieved through CDS views. So then I have to go with table function. Why CDS views? So now the data is going to be displayed in only in UI application. Okay. So the data flow is happening from database, CDS, or data service, UI application. Done. Okay. And the same procedure, the same business requirement that can be achieved to my ABAB reports or to my ABAB objects. Okay. In that scenario, I'm going to use procedures. So here the idea is simple. 
um, I have a serious view concept, but I need to introduce an ABAB layer within that particular SQL, then go with the AMDP. If this is going to be achieved only in my ABAB programs, then go with procedures. I don't want serious view, I don't want tables function. But the same concept, same business need is going to be achieved or is going to be displayed in a UI application, not in my ABAB programs, then you can choose table function, serious view, and UI application. So here the decision is depends on where your data is going to be displayed whether it's an ui or your above program okay so now it's clear about amdp and then further down when i'm going to use table function when i'm going to use procedure now very rare scenario i want uh, the same business scenario can be accessed or can be used in a ui application similar exactly same is going to be accessed in Reports also. There are some similar cases where the same methodology or same concept is going to be used in my UA application as well as in one of my app, app report. That is the case. You don't want to create a table function and you want you don't want to create the procedure also. So because it's a kind of a duplicate. Okay, so you don't want to create the same set of coding in table function for CDS view, same set of coding in procedure for my app, app programs because I can access the CDS view in my ABAP programs. In that kind of scenario, I'm going to have only table function and on top of it, I'm going to create a CDS view and that is going to be used in UI application and that the same CDS view is going to call in my ABAP program also. So here I just clarify in which scenario you have to use which concept. Okay. Now go back to the uh, first slide. So here. From HANA database, if you want a UI application and you can go with the CDS view, when the table function, when the AMDP methodology required, whenever we need a ABAB layer to add it in your SQL, then you need an AMDP concept. And if it is a CDS view, obviously you need a table function only. And if you want to achieve the same thing, ABAB layer with the SQL, then you have to go with procedures okay amdp procedures and there is an option S similar way i need the same thing to be in ui application as well as above report so don't create a procedure for it just have it in cds and call the cds in your above report it work as expected okay so this is the uh, clarification about what is cds and what is amdp when you want to go with the series, when you want to go with the AMDP methodology, whenever you need a ABAP layer to be included to achieve the business requirement, then only you need an AMDP. Okay. And one more step, when you want a table function, if you want a CDS, go with the table function. The same thing to be accessed only through ABAP reports or ABAP objects, go with the procedure. Okay. So hope this might be uh, give a little clarity about CDS and AMDP when you want to use what. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.